Craig had always been inspired by Salk. And he said Salk is the lab building, the prototypical lab building of the 20th century. I want to do the prototypical lab building of the 21st century. He was inspired, and we were inspired because that orientation, much, much smaller program than Salk was originally, and much smaller site, much more constrained site. But it's oriented, the two wings are oriented roughly the same way. We developed the idea of the two parallel wings, one on the south for the laboratories, one on the north, taller for the offices, and they were to be separated by a courtyard, much as Salk is separated into two wings, but also the fact that that courtyard would be partly covered because we were gonna need that, that uh, cover in order to generate enough area for the uh, photovoltaics. And so we have two buildings that are connected with the courtyard and the PV system spanning the two. It made so much sense because the office space, we needed more square footage. So it was, if it was the same length and size bar, that is footprint, it needed to be a little bit higher than the lab portion, which only needed one floor. So we have a two or three floor building behind a single story building and that difference in height gave us the platform for the photovoltaic system. Also gave us an interstitial space, an attic above the wet labs so that we could uh, house equipment and uh, ventilation systems, all of that for the laboratories in that interstitial space. It starts really with a site, you know, an incredible site overlooking the ocean with incredible views. And the institute is collaborating with Scripps, which is right down at the bottom of the hill, and with UCSD, with the Cancer Center, and with Cal IT. And so the idea was how do I create an environment where I don't need to replicate the kinds of labs that are at Scripps or at the Cancer Center at UCSD. What I really want is a place to do research, but also to encourage collaboration, not only of people in the Institute, but people coming from other places. And so the idea of really creating a very collaborative, very, you know, a space that really encourages intellectual collisions where people are going to run into each other that don't normally work together was really important. So we talked about the labs as really being the kitchen and you kind of, you go and you collaborate together with these people and then you go off into your labs and you prove that what you're thinking about can work. And so it was really this environment of very creative, interactive space rather than people just going into their lab all day and kind of being shuttered in their space or going into their office or their cubicle and focusing on their work. It was really much more about collaboration. So well, Craig very much wanted to have a space where people could come together, not only for scientific purposes, but for social purposes as well. It was a happy coincidence that we needed actually more solar panels on the roof than we had roof, because that meant that we could partially roof those outdoor spaces, and they get used as kind of like porches outdoors, and they get used on many, many social occasions. And then obviously the two wings, the, the uh, lab wing on the south side and office wing on the north side, they have multiple doors along their length that open into that space so people are moving through that space. They're not only congregating in that space, but they're moving through it uh, all through the day between the two wings of the building. And that was all a very conscious strategy as well to really, to really uh, orient that space at the heart of the project so that people would really use it.